What's going on fam? It's your boy Mosey here with another episode of Mosey Reacts. On this episode of Mosey Reacts, I have season two, episode five of Park and Rex. But before I get into today's episode, I did want to thank you guys for sticking around and watching my reactions. I do truly appreciate you guys. And if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing and joining the fam and helping the channel grow. And as always, this is not a market substitute. You should always support the official release. Our photo op with the mayor is tomorrow at 3 p.m. So I'm gonna need your suggestions about my wardrobe ASAP. I told you, gold sequin sweatpants. Also, remember hmm. everyone, That'd be pretty dope. Venezuela is a poor country. These men are not used to the wealth and flash that we have here in central Indiana. Pawnee has kind of a tricky history with welcoming foreign visitors. <laughs> What is with their fucking murals? Paint over them bitches. For sure. Oh god, what if they don't speak English? I'm pretty sure they're going to speak English. Oh good. Excellent. My mom's Puerto Rican. That's why I'm so lively and colorful. Oh my god. Is she part? I don't know. She I I can believe that for being true. Put this whole trip together and let me tell you something. your baby like what happened to the parks fit all of Pawnee in a 48-hour visit hello most excellent representatives of the great parks department. oh Rockwell where have I seen this dude I am deputy director of parks and recreation and chairwoman of the departmental ad hoc subcommittee for pit beautification Leslie nope it's a pleasure to meet you I am Vice Director Ejecutivo del Diputado del Departamento de Parques, Raúl Alejandro Bastilla Pedro de Veloso de Maldonado. <laughs> it reminds me of the guy from uh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. No one calls Esteban Julio Ricardo Matoy de Rosa Ramirez Atif. And Elvis Correja, Administrator of HR. <laughs> <laughs> he is? Pay no attention to him. He's our intern, Johnny. He is worthless. We are quite tired from our trip. Could you have your servant collect our bags, please? What did he call me? Tom. <laughs> <laughs> be a good host. Do this for me. Fine. We will get our pathetic servant boy to fetch your luggage. The flight, but <laughs> party in your honor. Excellent. I like to party. Well, my job is to see to your every need. Do we just uh, select the woman we desire? I will take the large black one. Interesting choice. What? Did you have some kind of a book with photos of the women available to us? I'm not surprised at all. I've been to South America. I did very well there. I don't get it, Donna. When I said party, I meant one that did not include sex for pay, but one that had food and drink and dancing, that sort of thing. So no women? No. What kind of birds do you guys eat? Chickens. I love that she has Larry Bird Amazing. there. What is this? Water. Uh, I'm sorry, agua. In our country, government officials drink only bottled water. Well, I can assure you that that water is very safe to drink. <laughs> no, bottled. <laughs> Tom, get <laughs> water. Leslie, come on. For your troubles. You got it, Chief. Es que estar muy bien conectado. Sí, yo soy muy poderosa y el mundo me tiene miedo. Hey, April, can you help me out a second? Go away, Jerry. <laughs> this is a gold plated replica of the gun Hugo Chavez used in the 1992 socialist revolution. A key aspect to diplomacy is gift giving. The gift has to be nice enough to honor and respect the guest, but not so nice that it shames him. Plus, it needs to represent the local culture. And I found the perfect thing a bottle of high fructose corn syrup. Made right here in Pawnee's own Sweetums factory. Sweetums, if you can't beat them, Sweetums. Since 1891. And eight and a half dozen rubber baby bottled nipples. Yes, and we too are pleased to be here in your dirty alleyway. We thank you for the container of sap, and the bag of garbage. <laughs> so I don't think he realizes how insulting he's being. We are also <laughs> sister cities with Kaesong, North Korea. Their town is far nicer. We haven't been here for a very long time, but what we have seen is really, from the bottom of our hearts, truly depressing. <laughs> really, really. Sad I mean, that's why people respect Hillary Clinton so much, because nobody takes a punch like her. She's the strongest, smartest punching bag in the world. It's funny because <laughs> to me, 
come and turn this car around and say we're sick or something or that we lost our way. <laughs> to you. <laughs> He's actually a pretty smart rodent. Oh. Uh, you have a quick quit. <laughs> you know what? I've changed my mind. I will have you for the evening. Oh. Boy, she'll get back. <laughs> Ron has been standing there this whole time. I don't support Chavez. I, I despise him. On the other hand, this is a pretty sweet ass gun. The banana. Ron is contending with Tom as my favorite character. What? With your hands. You peel the banana. For 40 bucks. Yeah. Bitch, here you go. I'll, you want to chopped up? I would like to see where the children are fed the sweeteners. American children are fattened more efficiently than any other children in the world. I mean, they're like little basketballs. I mean, they're huge. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is our thermometer. I'm trying to turn a giant dirt pit into a community park. And the city doesn't have enough money in its budget. I do not understand. You've never had a budget shortage? <laughs> <laughs> No. Wow. Well, now I do not understand. <laughs> I feel like my English was very clear. <laughs> Venezuela, Venezuela, my country, has a lot of oil. Oil is food for cars. Look, I know these guys didn't turn out to be exactly how we thought they would be. You said they might not know what toilet paper is. <laughs> calling an audible. We can't be humble anymore. <coughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take them to our best park and we're going to blow their socks off. Yeah, I don't think that's going to blow their socks off. Everybody doing okay back there? Comfortable? <laughs> well, that's how we're putting you in Oh, nice. shit. You can watch TBS. Do you have TBS in Venezuela? I have everything in Venezuela. <laughs> I have four satellite dishes in my estate. 14,000 channels. I already know who wins Project Runway. <laughs> I'm coming over to your house. I see what you're getting at, but no, thank you. <laughs> large black woman. Mm. This is an embarrassment to America. I'm sorry? You are right to want to correct this. Correct what? This is the giant pig of dirt you were telling us about, is it not? The one you want to turn into a park? No, no. <laughs> this is already a park, and it's one of our best loved parks. Why are the trees so small? They're not that small. Besides, <laughs> we cut them down the big ones to plant the small small. ones. You didn't know that? They're huge. We built tunnels through them. The parks in Barajo are far superior. The park in my hometown, El Parque del Este, we have a monorail and we have an aquarium. We have the Haripa Amphitheater. It's huge. Lady Gaga played there last week. Great. It's well, not like a nice park. Them. Ours is just... Grass, open fields of grass. Takes a very bad turn. But we have something more beautiful than Lady Gaga. Democracy. Elvis. Oh, Henry. Nancy Crunch with the crispy rice removed. Weird choice. But for you, I got it done. How? Gracias, señor. Gracias. I find it incredibly demeaning. But guess what? Cash money. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, demean me. I will I will laugh my way to the bank. So like, I do not give a fuck. Start. This is where you have your meetings? Well, the location rotates. Where do you hold your meetings? Well, now that you asked, uh, we usually rotate as well between different fortresses and citadels and palaces. Mm. We don't need palaces. The ideas are what shine in our meetings. Why don't you have hand dryers in the park bathrooms? They're so much more sanitary than paper towels. And it's not <laughs> that. My dog went to one of your parks and ate another dog's feces, and I'm going to sue you. <laughs> How do you like it? <laughs> How do you like that? Where are the armed men who come in to take the protesters away? Where are they? This kind of behavior is never tolerated in Boracua. You shout like that, they, they put you in jail right away. No trial, no, no nothing. You're stealing, right to jail. You're playing music too loud, right to jail, right away. You're driving too fast, jail. <laughs> jail. <laughs> too high prices for uh, sweaters. Glasses. Jail. You right to jail. You undercook fish, believe it or not, jail. You make an appointment with the dentist and you don't show up, believe it or not, jail, right away. Agreed. In the world because of jail. 
People will scream freedom, but I'm just saying, I guarantee you that customer service, like if you're working in fast food, you ain't never have to deal with a Karen there because you'll go to jail, Karen. here listen to people yelling, these fat faces turning all red. Are you kidding me? We're like kings. Look, this is not personal. We just think that you are weak and your city is disgusting. I think you're rude. And I think you've been rude since you came here. And I think that your medals are stupid. And you guys want to marry Hugo Chavez. Hey. Do not disrespect Chavez. Stupid Chavez. I just told you not to disrespect Good, him. Good, I just did. That's twice. <clears throat> I don't like Chavez. Yes, you do. And do not disrespect him. No, I don't. Look, if you don't like it here, then go. Okay, Raul? Great. Good, shut up. <laughs> shutting up? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Look at it, Tom. They started it. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys were rude, arrogant, narrow-minded, class-A jerks. Okay, I'll call the mayor and cancel the photo op. No, don't do that. Yesterday I was tough and direct, and today I have to be charming. Basically, you? yesterday I was Hillary, <laughs> and today I'm Hillary. Tom, I'd be doing everything I could for these guys. Want me to pull out your chair for you? I'd love some coffee. Anything, guys? No. Some nuts. I'll have some nuts. Gummy bears. Sure. Apple crisps. No. Yeah. Granola bars. Mm -hmm. I'll take those. Gentlemen, thank you for coming. Well, I would just like to first say I am so sorry for blowing up yesterday. Well, we are sorry as well. We were very tired from our long journey. Also, we were a bit jealous. Our colleagues from Caracas are visiting their sister city of Miami. Yeah. Hmm. They've been partying with Dwayne Wade. <laughs> sent all these photos and, and quick time files. I mean, you have to see this place, Miami. I mean, uh. just gorgeous, everything. There's so much soul and life. And really, really nice. And the food. So spicy and wonderful. We could not even believe it. But, but Bonnie is really good. <laughs> and in any case, I uh, made a few phone calls. And uh, the government of Venezuela has authorized a special gift. <laughs> Why? I hated that cheesy laugh. Yes, it is to fill your pit to start to build it. Oh, no, no, we can't take this. Yes, 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 please. We will see you later today at the photo opportunity. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should return the money. It's from a foreign government. I don't really trust these guys. I'm going to return the money. It's from a foreign government. Could could she accept it like that? Like, just, yeah, I'll take this and go build a cart? I don't know. I feel like it has to be more official. Con, we might be filling it in with dirty money. Pro, $35,000 worth of dirty money. Fine, fine. We'll keep the money. Okay? Everybody happy? Jerry, you happy? What did I do? Meaning adjourned, Jerry. <laughs> I feel like Jerry's like the Toby of this show. Okay, no kiss, I. Me vuelves loco. Vente conmigo. Vivirás una vida de princesa. Yo me voy en un avión en seis horas. Y si tú no estás, me voy a arcar. Vente, por favor. Nah. Good luck. I know they've given you a hard time. When the mayor gets here, we'll do the photo op. They'll be out of our hair. You'll get to build your park. Ah, Leslie, hello. Bro, the mayor will be with us in just a few minutes. If you don't mind, we would like to take a video of you to show our superiors, okay? We're gonna show it to the camera and say uh, how much it is and what it is for. Okay, this is a check for $35,000 and it is to build a park. <laughs> how generous. Viva Chavez! <laughs> Thank you, Venezuela. Viva Chavez, say it. Ah, come on. <laughs> I... I don't want to viva that guy. Just give you $35,000. That's worth one viva. Mm, yeah. Viva Chavez. Yes, Viva Chavez. Gracias. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Un poquito más. Entonces... What is he saying? They say Hugo Chavez will love this video because it is another success for their committee. Their committee to humiliate and shame America. It will be a good video. The committee to humiliate and shame America? Yes, it is Hugo Chavez's passion project. Oh, we just had an idea. Why don't you that makes a lot more sense as to why they're so like, yo, here's this money, here's this money. They just want to show up that they're rich. I didn't think Venezuela was that rich. Viva America! Viva Pawnee! Viva Mayor Walter Gunderson! 
You have offended us. You have offended the government of Baracua. You are no longer our sister. Diplomacy isn't just sucking up and being a pushover. Sometimes... <laughs> <laughs> I am going to build that park myself. And it is going to be awesome. And it's not going to have a fountain shaped like Hugo Chavez's head spitting water all over it. Oh, look at Tom being Unless a good guy. And that, sir, is democracy. Check out this video April sent me. Hey guys, I'm at Johnny's place in Venezuela. It's okay, I guess. He has like five million rooms. And this is only his guest house. Holy cow. There's a lot of guys with guns here. It's better than my mom's house, I guess. So, April is just. I don't know when I'm gonna be back. Oh, and Donna's here. Donna! Hey guys. <laughs> Hola. Alrighty, well that was it for season two, episode five of Park and Recreations, and that was enjoyable. Um, first things first, uh, we need more of like the side characters, like Donna and Jerry. I'm every time they're on screen, I'm really enjoying them. So I I can't wait till this show like um, branches out, sort of like The Office did, where it starts to show like more of the characters. Like I'm assuming we're eventually gonna get like you know where a show is dedicated to like you know just Jerry and his problems, and we might not see so much of like Tom and Leslie. They might be in it, but very little. Cause like I know there are episodes like that in The Office um, where you know you, it's like you know hey this problem is with like Dwight, and it's not so much about Michael. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Um, but with this episode specifically though, um, I'm glad that we got back to more of like getting the parks. Um, I was worried about it. Like, are they going to focus on the park? Like I know there's six seasons of it. So I was just, I know I, it's a show, but that's kind of where I was like, there's six seasons. It's just going to take six seasons to build a park. Like, Hmm. Um, and then Venezuela, I, I definitely thought I may be wrong, but I thought they were a communist state. So like their government being rich would make sense because the money stays with the government versus and the people versus it going to like private individuals so that does make sense that the government would be very wealthy their government like the interns he's like yeah i don't i have my own mansion guest house whatever but i'm not as rich as the other one that would be true and that um with communism it leads to governments being able to be very corrupt um, however, they, the one thing about, um, communism is like he said, is that they never had a budgeting problem when it comes to building stuff because all the money goes back to the government. So theoretically, I get what they're saying. Like it could be better for Leslie as far as parks, but for the people, it, it, it's a toss up. Um, but other than that, um, very enjoyable episode. Um, I want to know who that character was. I feel like I've seen him in other things. So he was a pretty good, he's a pretty funny dude. Um, but yeah, very enjoyable episode. Appreciate you guys sticking around watching this reaction. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun later on.